Ladies and gentlemen, we have so much to talk about and such little time. Since the end of last episode, guys, there's been so many talking points. You better stay stunned for this one because I've got to explain a lot. Oh, what I've got to say is actually good, mate, so they don't want to be listening to you. Basically, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of last episode, I asked you to vote whether or not we should go with Mario Goetze or an icon to make a better foot champions team, improve our weekend league squad, essentially. And it's pretty clear that you guys wanted Mario Goetze. So I can think of a one-inch plastic figurine that's very happy with that decision. <laughs> So in this episode, guys, we will be doing the Mario Goetze Flashback SBC. I can guarantee you that. In addition to that, every week we get two pre-order packs, Jumbo Premium Gold Packs. And this week we managed to pull ourselves a very special card, a walkout in fact, a Manchester United walkout, Belgian Romelu Lukaku, who went for 180,000 coins. So that's Goetze paid for effectively, which is absolutely incredible. Two free packs every single week because I bought the Champions Edition. And in this week's one, we got Romelu Lukaku. We got Koulibaly before, if you remember, but this one definitely trumps Koulibaly, man. Lukaku is a sick pull, 180K in the bank. Basically, guys, as you can see on the screen right now, if we go to our club, it is pretty barren, if I'm honest. Look how many gold cards. I don't have many gold cards in my club, and that's because I had a massive club clear out for all Serie A players, all league owned players, all Mexico League players, and basically just any players that are of relative value. I'll keep getting round to selling them. Obviously, these non red gold cards all go for like 450 coins each. The market is at an absolute high. Every single card is worth some money, which is absolutely great. So we cleared out the club, but we have 1.2 million coins. So I definitely do want to get the Mario Goetze card. Big news now, guys, big flipping news. I could have opened the episode with this, but I chose not to do that. I finished 26 and 4 in the weekend league. Now, if you don't believe me, let's go over to the weekend league Ch foot champ screen. 26 wins, zero games remaining. I was 15 and 0, and then it crumbled a little bit. I went to 19 and 4, and then I won seven games in a row. I was one win off being verified, which is the best finish I have ever had on a weekend league in any FIFA ever. This is officially my best ever weekend league. So we now get 100k coins, one premium team of the week pack, one jumbo rare players pack and three player pick items. It's a little bit disappointing because the difference between elite three and elite two is only 30,000 coins. But the difference between elite three and elite one is every pack doubled and also 55k, which is a crazy difference. Like to go from elite two to, I'm, I was one win away from another premium team of the week pack, another 100k pack, and 25,000 coins, which I feel I, I feel a little bit hard done by, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to show you the team that we used in the weekend league. Now, because I didn't do the Mario Gers SBC, we're doing that in this video, I had to use a team that would get me some wins. This is the team, the dream team. Absolutely incredible team performance from all of the boys using Big Marco as a brilliant super sub at the moment just until we get that Mario Goetze card because as you can see the, the players around him I simply cannot get him into a team so once we do the Goetze card you saw in last episode the team that I try and want I want to try and build around Royce and Goetze but for this weekend league 26 and 4 with this team I will show you the records of all of the players Neymar plays Cam and it was kind of okay I'm actually really looking forward to putting Royce into this team because because he's such a better cam than Neymar is. Neymar is not a cam, central cam, anyway, in a 4 1 2 1 2 second variation. Royce definitely is. Cannot wait to put him back in. We've got over 100 games with this Royce card already. 59 goals, 37 assists, but he is coming off the bench as well, guys, so you need to remember that. When he does start games, he gets a goal a game, pretty much. He's that good. His finesse shots are, hands down, the best on the game, without question. But the real MVPs this weekend were Messi's Mbappe. That ratio is bloody amazing. 76 games, 72 goals, 41 assists. And partnering him, Gareth Bale. Hands down, my favourite card in this game, other than Player of the Month Royce. It's just I can't actually get Player of the Month Royce into a team at the moment. But this Gareth Bale card is sensational. You can have a look for yourselves. 
44 games, 47 goals, 43 assists in Division 2 and Foot Champions. If you ever have trouble scoring and you really want to get to know the timed finishing of any kind, Gareth Bale does it all for you. This guy is incredible, absolutely incredible. Stick a marksman card on him and he is unplayable. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy using this card. He's going to be in the team for a long, long while. I want to try and build the team around Bale and Royce. Obviously, you've seen the team that we're going to run with. And you now have a million coins to play with. I, I'm pretty gassed, to be honest, guys, because whatever happens, we can say that we finished Elite 2 in Foot Champions. I'm still absolutely ecstatic with that. 26 and 4. 26 and 4. If that's not worth a like on this video, guys, I honestly don't know what is. So we're going to have some insane red rewards on Thursday. Cannot wait for that. But without further ado, let's get into building or basically making the SBCs for Mario Goetze. So it was an overwhelming slash unanimous agreement based on the comments of last video that we should do Goetze instead of get an icon. As you can see, I could have got an icon. Look at the amount of coins we had. But just know, guys, your opinion on this series and your input is so important to where we go with the series, etc. It keeps my content fresh. So if you want to contribute more to the series, please do leave some comments with anything that you feel would add to the series. I really would appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into this Goetze flashback SBC. I keep clicking a why won't it let me do it oh my god there's there's insane menu lag there is insane menu lag look this is this is the problem with fifa guys i'm not kidding i had to play a whole weekend league with this kind of button lag as well are you gonna let me in the spc guys no all right we're just going back out of ultimate team and go back in it that's horrendous all right so we're back into ultimate team hopefully this time yeah there we go why does that happen i think we're going to run the same system as we used to do uh, for other SBCs, which is basically just copy Footbin. Okay, so this is how Footbin suggests to complete the squad. We can utilize the Carvajal and Lenos that we have in our club. Everybody else I'm going to have to buy off the transfer market. Yeah, it might take a little while, but I'm going to fill out the other squad. Okay, so this is the second squad completed. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get William Carvalho in either of them. So I'm going to just sell him on. But this looks pretty decent. I mean, it shouldn't take me all that long to buy the players. So fingers crossed. I can get the place for as cheap as chips. Unlikely though, really, isn't it? Okay, so with Asensio, we have sniped our final player for the Goetze SBC. Now, our coin total is now 1.16. I don't know what it was before we started this. I'm going to have to go back and look at it. But I don't think it cost us more than 100,000. Quite happy about, to be honest. So, I think there's a few position changes required in order to make the chemistry up in the squads. So we'll see if we have this one. Yeah, okay, so Dost needs to be made to a centre forward. So we get plus six chemistry there. And then one more chem. So if you make Pizzy a camp, I think that should get us the full chemistry. Yes, so basically, uh, I'm going to put this card value on the transfer list. Sell him on. Brahimi was an untradeable UCL card. Might as well use him. We're going to get Gertzer out of it. I'm never going to play with Brahimi. So I don't, I don't see a loss there. We've saved ourselves like... 10k or whatever it is so i'm gonna take that mega pack as a result of it that's pretty good now the final uh part of the guts of sbc we need 85 chemistry from somewhere so if we change demo by to a center mid that's that's where we've gone wrong we bought vidal as a camp all right so if we change him to a center mid himself then that should be completed, and yeah, it is indeed. So basically, guys, we have Mario Goetze now, which is absolutely phenomenal. Cannot wait to watch him walk out. Come on then, lad. Sensational looking card. The design is incredible. Dortmund, part of the squad now. Oh, fantastic. Look at it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful card design. Centre forward, Dortmund. Mario Goetze, which means we now get a perfect link to Marco Royce. Essentially helps with a lot of different style squads that we would like to build as Goetze is dabbing on us. That's not... Yeah, okay, mate. I mean, welcome to the club, but not the greatest of first impressions. We're going to store him into the club. Actually, quickly, just going to look at his stats. 77 stamina is my biggest concern with this card. I do want to play him at centre mid, so... He's going to run out of stamina very quickly. People have told me that his long sh long finesse shots are 
ridiculous. So I would try and look to play him as far forward as possible. I don't really want to play Royce at striker though. The problem is I have two of the exact same player now. I've got Royce who is a cam and Goethe who is also a cam, which is a bit annoying. Store him in the club. Then we can go and open our packs that we got from that SBC. Fingers crossed we get something back from these packs. The Prime Gold Players pack to start off with. I think this is a 45k pack. Can we get a walkout? I haven't got a walkout. Anything in here though? Not really. Ling, long lay, correct pronunciation of his name is. Anything else in here we can just, no, no Syria players that I can see straight up. No, um, we can store everything on the transfer list and then get rid of them at a later date. Everybody on the market currently sells, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So we're never gonna really lose out on a lot of coins. When the market crash inevitably comes on Black Friday, then we'll be struggling a little bit. But for the final pack for completing Gertz SPC Mega Pack, give us a walk out of here, come on. Our pack looks been pretty sweet at the moment. It isn't. Rafa, no. Never mind, we have a Gertz card. It would have been great if we could have got something back from those packs to pay for the Goetze, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, we got Rog, who is one, one and a half thousand coins, which is a good pull. So let's go over and build a brand new team with Mario Goetze. Right, stick both of the boys in. Where is Royce? Marco, first player to go in as per usual. Cam Royce. Goetze, second player to go in as expected. Mario Goetze. Oh, look at that. Already, they're, just, they're fine. They're both on perfect chemistry. If I change Royce for centre forward, obviously, let's just do it now. Easy as. Right, then let's stick whoever we want in now. Bale is a must, as I was saying. He's an absolutely incredible player in this game. I cannot get over how good he carried me in weekend league this weekend. Modric can go in there. Casemiro can go in here. I like Neymar, but I would prefer a different striker. We'll put Neymar in for the time being. I might have to sell Neymar along with Mbappe. So that is effectively what the new team looks like. Goetze would play centre mid. Royce would play Cam. Neymar and Bale strikers. I do... Whether, should I get an icon left for Nedved instead of Neymar? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. It also depends on what rewards we get later on in the week before we build our next weekend league teams. However, this I'm very happy with. I've got to be honest. I'm very happy with. Speaking of weekend league though, guys, you guys probably want to know how I performed, what tactics I run, etc. So in the background, I'm going to show you some weekend league gameplay, including some of my losses against absolute god squads with the likes of Eusebio, Ronaldo, etc. Because a lot of you complain there's not enough gameplay, so why not show you the gameplay that I recorded? I'm not going to do live streams for Weekend League, guys. I apologise. I'm just going to get that out there straight away now. I can't play on stream. I struggle to play on camera, never mind on stream. So for a little while at least, until I can be sure that we have an absolute god squad, like a full-out god squad, icons everywhere, etc., then... I won't be playing on stream, but I will show you my Foot Champions highlights for which I got Elite 2, 26 and 4. Now I figured this would be a better system than actually talking through my games play by play. I'll just leave them running in the background and you can sift the videos what you will. Basically, Bale and Mbappe carried me big time through this weekend league. As a result of that, I do want to try and make the next team that I build Mbappe and Bale based. So I want to kind of keep as much of the core team that basically won me 26 games this weekend as I can. Royce, I really would like to play Cam because I think he's quite possibly one of the best Cams in the game as a central attacking midfielder in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. So if you guys can think of any icons that you would like me to not necessarily invest in because they will crash, but any icons that you'd like to see me try out. And obviously I can record more gameplay using the icons because in next video that you'll see, it will be rewards. I'm really hoping for a Red Sergio Ramos. If we get a Red Sergio Ramos from our Elite 2 rewards, that would be absolutely mental. It really would help the squad a lot because there was a lot of moments during this weekend where I thought... It's just not worth the stress or the hassle. But we pulled through, as I said earlier, we went 19 and four, and then won our next seven to get, all I wanted was Elite Three, basically. And then we just kept winning, and I said, I'll play one more game, all right, we'll go one more game. And then I got 24 wins, oh, we'll, we'll go for another game. 
just so just in case I get Elite 2. And then we got Elite 2, and I had one game left. Obviously, I knew at that point I couldn't get Elite 1, but I was like, I'll play it anyway. And then it got 26 wins. So basically, guys, what I'm trying to say is as well as an icon that you think would work really well into the team, I want to try and incorporate Balak or Matthias eventually. We're a little bit of a way off them first, though, or at least until a market crash does actually happen, then we can possibly afford them. But... Yeah, any icon that you think really would work well into the team. I like to play a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow and a 4 2 3 one. For the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, I put my DM on cut passing lanes, cover centre and stay back while attacking. Both of my centre mids are on cover centre as opposed to cover wings, which is their default. Both fullbacks on stay back while attacking. Cam, stay forward. Strikers, stay forward and get in behind. And basically they're my tactics, they're the reasons... If you have strikers like Bayern and Mbappe who are always looking to get forward, always looking to get in behind with their high medium work rates and their 90 plus pace, it's a really, really effective system to try and beat other defences' back lines. And even when you're playing against opposition that like to drop off and play deep and play counter-attacking football, they both have the finesse shot trait. Would highly recommend those two as possibly the best normal gold strikers on the game that are kind of attainable for everyone because obviously not everyone can go out and get Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi. If you enjoy sort of me just chatting over gameplay in the background, I could have actually done it where I talk through the games bit by bit, but it takes it's a little bit more tedious. I do want to kind of talk to you guys about where the series is going. So I reckon this is going to be a little bit more successful than if I just talked over the gameplay about what was actually happening. If you enjoyed it, guys, though, please do leave a like. Let me know what icon you'd like me to invest in next, especially when the market crash comes out. In fact, it's, it's a little bit early for me to do that because we have rewards to come still. So if we get a big play in rewards, it changes everything. But regardless, thank you for watching the episode. As per usual, guys, cannot wait to use the Mario Goetze card. We'll be doing that at the start of next episode. I reckon you can see some gameplay with the new Goetze and Royce pairing. Suggestions in the comments as always, like on the video would be absolutely amazing and I'll speak to you all again soon guys. Adios.